Good morning, Scrappers. Eco Scrapper here. Now, if you've watched some of my ingot videos, you'll see I always say heat your moulds before you do any pouring. And it says that on a lot of a lot of videos to do with that that type of thing, making ingots. Um, Big Stacked, who's was a very good. Um, well, he work he works with a lot of a lot of metal um, and forges and makes some really nice things. And uh, there's another Australian guy I can't remember his name, but they always say heat your mould. But nobody actually says why. So I thought I'd do a little video just to show why you heat your moulds. Now I did this. In my garage, I had a lot of. I, I did it in an enclosed, enclosed area. I had a glass screen in front of the camera. I had a a metal, is an old an old gas fire casing around where I put the mold that I was going to pour the aluminium into, and I only put a very small, maybe fifty grams of aluminium in, and. You can see the result. It is it is quite frightening. So I I know I knew what was going to happen because I had it happen to me once, <laughs> and I just want to put it out there to show you what will happen. You must heat your molds. Always heat your molds. Even it doesn't matter what amount of metal you're melting. You you must absolutely heat them. And you will see why. Uh, anyway, if, if you like, give it a like, um, subscribe. Um, I'm not going to do this again. <laughs> so, yeah, it is. It is something. So, enjoy. Desired effect. <coughs> wow. Ridiculous. Yep, that worked. Well, there you go. It went everywhere. It didn't go on anything important. And I did actually kneel on a piece of metal, which was really stupid, and it hurt. <laughs> anyway, there you go. And please stay safe when you're doing this type of thing, and follow all the safety precautions. Thanks for watching.